Renny here. I think we are live. All right. Hello, everybody. Michaela here. I am hopping on live to give you guys another free tip. If you've been following me on my Facebook page, you know that I'm giving away free tips for all you actors, screenwriters, and directors out there. And this week, we are doing an actor's tip. Um, well, this tip, I'm probably going to give another tip in the next few days. But today, we're going to focus on an acting tip. So this is a tip that I think is kind of underrated and is something that not a lot of people know that as an actor, you can use this. And essentially, it's going to help you stand out on set. So if you really want to stand out and look really good to the director and the producers and everybody on set, this is a really great way of doing that because not everybody actually knows this trick. So if you've ever heard of continuity, continuity is essentially where it's used a lot as a director and as an editor where you have multiple shots that you're taking, multiple sequences, multiple um, takes basically of one scene and you're standing there and the actors are on set and let's say that you, this is like a simple explanation of it, let's say you have a cup on like a table, okay? And you get on the set and you call hot set, which basically means that like the set is hot, don't move anything. But for some reason, one of your actors didn't hear it and they moved the cup. So the you filmed it one way and the cup was here and then you filmed it another way and the cup jumped all the way over here. That is a problem with continuity and that's something that you'd have to fix in editing. Uh, so that's essentially having it in the same place and the same thing every single time, every single take. Now, what people don't really know is that you can actually use this as an actor. And I've used this so many times as an actor and it has especially made me stand down on set. So how it works is I'll give you an example. You want to make sure that when you are acting, you are also using continuity. So let's say, for example, that you're on a set and you're entering in through a door and you have a camera in your left hand and you're going to open the door with your right hand. OK, so this is the imagine you're on a set and it's all exciting. The cameras are ready. Everyone's around you. You have the lights ready and you're about to go on for the first time doing the very first take of your scene. Very exciting. So you're on there and the, you're ready to go and the director yells action, right? And then op you open the door with your right hand and you peer inside. Then you take a step with your left foot and then your, your hand slides forward and you're grabbing the edge of the door as you also walk in with your right foot. You look to the right, you look to the left and then you move forward with your camera, okay? Simple enough, right? Okay, so you did that on your first take. What the hardest part about this is, is you have to remember exactly what you did for continuity. So now <laughs> you're gonna do it again. And the director's like, okay, great, cut. Let's do another take. So you get first positions. You get back into your first position. You are ready. You have your right hand on the door. You have your camera in your left hand, right? Because that's how we started it. The director is roll camera and action and in you go. And so you push in the door with your right hand. You step in with your left foot. You step in with your right foot as you move your hand across the edge of the door, right? You look to the right, you look to the left and you move in with the camera. And then there you go. That is continuity. Why is this great? Why does this make you stand out? It's like, will anyone even notice? Let me tell you, it'll make you stand out in a couple of ways. Okay. You're guaranteed to stand out. And here's why. When you're on the set and you're doing that, I guarantee you someone will notice, especially the director, because the director is constantly looking for continuity. Sometimes they even hire someone who checks for continuity and they'll be like, do you see that person? Like they're doing it exactly the same way every single time. And then they'll note, someone will notice. Now, if all else fails, you will be noticed in editing for sure. Because what will happen is they'll start editing your scene and the director will be working with the editor and they'll look at, and they'll be like, wow, that person's doing it exactly the same way. And it makes their job so much easier. It makes the edi editing process a breeze. And they're gonna just have a really good taste in their mouth with you because they're gonna be like, wow, sh that person was so easy to work with and they had great continuity and I was able to do great editing and made my job so much easier. And I can tell you from her firsthand experience as a director, 
as an editor working and doing those things like yeah it's it's a plus and it will make you stand out if it doesn't for some reason make you stand out on set you will stand out after the fact and i'm telling you they're going to call you back because it'll it'll happen they'll look for something else for you or you'll stand out or it, it just gives you a better chance i'm not saying you're guaranteed to be called back but i'm saying that you have a much better chance sometimes you might even stand out and they really don't know why right they might not be able to put their finger on why because it is such a subtle thing but it is such a big thing um so yeah a lot of actors don't know about that but it's a great tip for you guys to stand out on set also, I have a great announcement. I'm actually going to be doing an interview coming up this Friday the 14th with Stephen BP. He is a Christian recording artist. He's also a music composer. He's IMDb credited. And he just is like an overall amazing, talented person. And so I'm really excited to have him on this Friday. We're going to just be talking about a lot of different things about working in the music industry and about uh, like his journey. He actually just dropped a new EP. So you can check that out um, simply on any streaming platform. Uh, I will be giving all that information uh, coming up this Friday. You can actually check it out on my pinned post on my page as well. So tune in Friday the 14th. That's this Friday at 4 p.m. And it's going to be live right here on my Facebook page. I'm really excited about this. It's going to be great. If you're looking for classes as well, I do have my website linked in the description. You can check that out. Um, and you can also like and follow my Facebook page for more of these free tips. All right. Also, early bird special going on in my courses. So get in while you can. All righty, guys. That's it for now. Till next time. Bye for now.